to Nevada. Today, we are looking for the endangered Ash Meadows pupfish. We've never seen them before. Uh, and so we are on our way to a National Wildlife Preserve where they're supposed to be. Uh, and hopefully we'll have some pupfish to show you. They're, they're pretty small, but like, I don't know, seeing something new and interesting is always great for me. So stay tuned and we'll see what we find. There we are, we're near, uh, we're at Ash Mellows National Wildlife Refuge. Uh, and you can see right up here, right here, these are the puffish uh, that they're highlighting here uh, at the National Wildlife Refuge. Uh, so hopefully this is a good sign that they're here and that we'll find some and we'll be able to show you. Um, I don't think they're quite this big. I think they're a lot smaller, uh, but fingers crossed we'll find some and we'll get to share it with you. So continuing on our adventure. So here we are, we finally made it to the right habitat uh, for these pupfish. Uh, and this is one of the best places uh, to see the Ash Meadows Armagosha pupfish, the main one that we came to this park to see. Uh, they're, they're the most common out here. They do have four types of native fish out here. Um, I think three of them are pupfish. There might be another one uh, that are really just endemic to this area. And uh, it's really it's really exciting that like these fish live in just this tiny little area here and they're really adapted to sort of these harsh desert conditions. Um, this is spring water and I guess it's really hot too. In This is the winter now but in the summer like the water can get up to like 93 degrees and the fish will be just fine. So let's take a closer look and see what's here. This is incredible, just a little bit below the surface, and there are fish everywhere. You know, these pupfish get their name for their playful sort of active behavior uh, that resembles puppies. But really what they're doing is they're feeding and they're defending territory from one another that can be quite aggressive. Now the ones that are bright blue, those are the males. And you can see that they just have such a lovely contrast with the green algae as they swim around, making them very obvious to find. Unfortunately, the pupfish weren't the only things that we found out here. This area is covered with invasive red swamp crayfish that both compete with and feed on the pupfish. We also saw a number of sailfin mollies, which are very pretty, but also not native and do compete with the native fish here. Now, we did notice numerous traps set out to help catch these crayfish and other non-native species out here, so hopefully these guys will be gone, but it is a lot of work to, to restore habitat like this. So there used to be water all throughout uh, this sort of Death Valley sort of area down here. Um, this was tens of thousands of years ago, and so as the water dried up, uh, all these little populations of pupfish, um, pupfish became isolated and grew into their own their own separate species. So now right where we are, we're down here in Ash Meadows. They have three different types of pupfish, the Warm Springs pupfish, the Ash Meadows Armagosha pupfish, the ones that we saw earlier. Um, and of course, one of the most, um, one of the rarest and most endangered fish in the world, uh, the Devil's Hole pupfish. Uh, we're gonna go take a look at where you can find them. Um, they're all like sectioned off, so I don't think we'll be able to see much. Um, but yeah, there's only about 180 of them left, and at one point there were only 35. So pro possibly the rarest uh, of fish uh, in the world. So we have made it to the Devil's Hole, and you can see this area is all fenced off. It is very protected, but right down there, that is it, the Devil's Hole, the only place in the world to find the Devil's Hole pupfish. Now, if we were able to get down into the Devil's Hole, this is what we would see, these lovely light bluish uh, fish here. Now, they're obviously not this big. Here's the actual size of them down here. They're little tiny fish, just like the ash meadow fish um, that we saw earlier. Now, at Schechter Natural History, conservation is really important to us. We're all about education, we're all about conservation, and so uh, we're going to make a pledge here uh, to donate some money to help protect the Devil's Holes pupfish and the Ash Meadow Armagosa pupfish as well. Uh, I will have links uh, in the description below if you want to donate money to these, uh, to the great organizations that help uh, with the conservation here. 
Hey, thanks for joining us in this adventure. I really hope that you learned a little bit more about the Ash Meadows Armagosa pupfish. We had a really nice time finding these guys. Anyway, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Greg Schechter. And I'm Tatiana Tuccio Schechter. And we'll, we'll see, see you, you in, in the, the field. field.